This is going to be a short video on how to set up your training mode on Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo on Fightcade, uh, sp more specifically on how to record the um, the the dummies' movements, your 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 training partner's AI's dummy movements. Uh, I looked everywhere on the web and I could not find any clear cut instructions uh, and no videos either on how to get those clear cut instructions so I thought I'd make that video for you guys today so let's get started uh, I have my fight cade right here uh, at on the Super Street Fighter 2 X forum and I'm gonna go to the training mode right here okay uh, right now we're gonna select our character for player one that's gonna be you and then I will select uh, player two for whatever robot or AI you want so let's pick DJ as an example and let's get started all right so first thing what we're going to do is we're going to hit the coin button. Usually by default it's button 5. Hold it for about 5 seconds and then let go. Okay, so the menu comes up. And to record your dummy movements, uh, you know, movements, we have to get to this particular arrow on the right side of the screen. So you would use your joystick and highlight it right now it's highlighted red on the upper right corner and this is where it really confused me uh, we don't know what buttons to push to get it going so what you're gonna do is you're gonna hit the jab button on player one twice I believe yep twice and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna highlight record player two which is what we already did we I highlight I, to get this particular screen I hit the jab button okay and then you know don't loop we'll set it to loop but first of all we need to record it first uh, in order to get out of this screen you'll hit the coin button again which is five okay and to record the dummies movement you'll hit the coin button twice hit five twice and notice that the upper left corner it has this red I guess frame recording and that's when you know it's recording and as you'll notice it'll also switch to the player 2 button with your controller 1 controller the one that you're actually using so that way you don't have to switch controllers uh, to record the movement of player 2 so here I'm gonna jump 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 kick as an example and for you to stop recording you'll just hit the button 5 the coin button once and right now you'll see on the upper left corner it's running through the frames which means it's it's actually playing right now see right now you'll see DJ moving that's about the time frame where I was recording that movement so right now DJ is just moving up back and forth and right now by the time it got to this frame I'm doing what I did earlier which is punch going back and forth etc etc now it's jumping and right now I'm moving my controller one button to defend or do whatever you need to to you know basically train so that's basically how you guys do it right now it's back to what frame 4 almost 500 and it's repeating itself so that's how you do it and I think in order for you to stop this this macro playing you just hit the coin button again hit 5 and then you're all done you're all set so Thanks for watching, folks. This particular 
uh, action I wanted to do on the training mode was literally impossible. I could not find it anywhere. Uh, shout out to Steez Nuts on this particular Super Street Fighter 2 forum. He gave me the clues on what buttons to push to actually make you know the thing go so anyways thanks for watching folks and uh have a good one